The final piece of the puzzle is a crusader. What's a crusader do? Leads the charge. Leads the charge. Kind of all about the cause, if you will. Okay. This is the most overlooked step in the process. Because those organizations that really are highly aligned, okay, they get their act together and they market the heck out of it internally. They create a cause in the business. Okay, and what that model looks like, and this is in, your, you know, in, the, in the slides as well, first step is to communicate and internally market where we're headed, how we intend to get there, and what the business is all about. There is no more important leadership role than to set expectations. To set expectations, and that's what this is all about. The next thing then is that you've got to hold everybody in the business accountable for connecting employees' needs with what the business's objectives are and link them up. That's where you start to cement the ownership, the weigh-in, the buy-in, and, and things of that nature. You then need to create a rhythm and, and, a, and a mindset of reviewing, analyzing, learning, and growing. Okay? The, the tools that you use, the KPIs that you use, have got to be viewed as tools, not as weapons. Yeah, that's critical. And then what you're doing is creating a, 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 a results, accountability, and overachievement type of mindset. So the crusader is all about creating a cause. And when you do, when you bring all these elements together, and, and we're, by the way, we're not saying share state secrets, proprietary information, things of that nature. You don't have to do that, okay? But when you bring it together, when you get the leadership team on board, everybody on board, when you're one of the highly engaged businesses, if you will, here's kind of what it feels like. It's halftime. Both teams are in their locker room discussing what they can do to win this game in the second half. It's halftime in America, too. People are out of work and they're hurting. And they're all wondering what they're going to do to make a comeback. And we're all scared because this isn't a game. The people of Detroit know a little something about this. They almost lost everything. It seems that we've lost our heart at times. The fog of division Discord and blame made it hard to see what lies ahead. But after those trials, we all rallied around what was right and acted as one. This country can't be knocked out with one punch. We get right back up again, and when we do, the world's going to hear the roar of our engines. Yeah, it's halftime America, and our second half's about to begin. that make you feel? <laughs> you know, that's what creating a cause is all about. And for those of you that say, ah, I don't have time for that stuff. Number one, you don't have to be Clint Eastwood because I've done it and I'm not Clint Eastwood. <laughs> um, but that video was one minute and 57 seconds. So if you think you don't have time, I would suggest you hold up the mirror and ask yourself again. Okay, because it's that important to the business. So in summary, before we move to the, to the, the template that we want to share, three key roles. You got the architect, builder, and crusader. Think about the architect, they align, right? So it's architect's all about alignment. The builder is all about engagement. Right? How do you start driving the culture, the KPIs, you know, and all that kind of stuff? And the crusader is what? Create a cause. Take what you've done, take the great work that you've done with the team and market the heck out of it uh, internally to create a cause within the business. That's what it's, uh, what it's all about. <laughs>